Question 45. We have what I'm going to call charge 1 located at position 1, which has a charge of positive 3 Q. And we have what I'm going to call charge 3 located at position 3, which has a charge of positive 2 Q. And the question is, where along this line, other than at infinity, will the net electric field be equal to zero? It's basically like asking if I take a small positive test charge and place it along this line, where will it have a net force acting on it of zero? So we start with the equation for the electric field caused by a point charge. The electric field caused by a point charge is equal to Coulomb's constant times Q, the charge causing the electric field, divided by R squared, where R is the distance between the center of charge that's causing the electric field to the point we're talking about the electric field. Now we're going to look at the various regions and talk about the components of the electric field, the electric field caused by charge 1 and charge 3, and figure out what the various options are for the net electric field in those regions. Let's start by looking at the electric field to the left of charge 1. Now, an electric field is defined by a small positive test charge. That means because charge 1 is positive, that the electric field to the left of charge 1 caused by 1 will be to the left. And because charge 3 is also positive, the electric field to the left of charge 1 caused by charge 3 is also going to be to the left. Therefore, both those electric fields will add, and therefore they cannot add up to zero. Therefore, the correct answer cannot be to the left of charge 1. Now let's look at to the right of charge 3. We have the same issue with to the right of 3 as we had to the left of 1. Because both charges are positive, and this point is to the right of both of those charges, the electric field caused by 1 and the electric field caused by 3 are both going to be to the right, and therefore can never cancel out. Therefore, the electric field to the right of 3 can never be 0. Therefore, D cannot be correct. Now we're going to look at point 2, which is located directly between charges 1 and 3. At this point, the electric field caused by 1 is to the right, and the electric field caused by 3 is to the left. Now, they are going to cancel one another out to a certain extent, but they don't have the same magnitude, so they don't cancel one another out completely. Now, they don't have the same magnitude because they don't have the same charge. They have the same distance from the center of charge, so the same R value, however, Q is different. So because charge 1 is greater than charge 3, electric field 1 is greater than electric field 3. In order to get to a point where these two electric fields are going to have the same magnitude in opposite directions, we actually have to get closer to charge 3 so that this R value is smaller for charge 3 and larger for charge 1 so that that electric field for charge 3 will have the same magnitude as the electric field for charge 2. Therefore, the correct answer is somewhere between 2 and 3. The correct answer is C.